hey you it's Jess here and welcome back we are doing the usual plan with me for the week of April 3rd through the 9th and this is the week of my partner Locke's birthday their birthday was on the 6th and so I decided to use this ice cream mystery I think it was what I've got it somewhere in front of me or maybe I don't I think it was June mystery last year or the year before something like that um but yeah, so this is a mystery that I did for SPC and I just love it and I decided to choose this for their birthday because they love milkshakes and ice cream and it just seemed like the best fit and especially the best time to use it. Um, this week it officially really became spring. Uh, pretty much all the snow melted except for the big piles, um, but there's no more ice and the sun's been out. The sun doesn't go down until like like nine o'clock at the moment like already it's it's already nuts I'm already like wow I'm <laughs> it's like I'm not even in the mood for dinner because it's so bright um at dinner time but spring is upon us it was like 10 degrees today celsius so we're above freezing which was awesome so um yeah it was a good time to start getting into the ice cream kits uh but I other than that I'm also bringing in two of the two bundles front in gold the SBC birthday celebration bundle and the um, Caress Press birthday celebration bundle and I just paired them together because I liked different elements from each one um, and I think it came out super cute <laughs> uh, I, I'm a big fan of how the base came out I just I really love these um birthday celebration designs and put together they're like my perfect bundle uh, and it was also useful because I bought the Crest Press one without the bougie boxes so it was even even easier to put them together but I think I'm just gonna get done with the um, base early and we'll get into talking with me so hello there it's me Jess <laughs> um, and yeah, so first of all, in the sidebar, I put Happy Birthday, My Love, which is from the birthday sheet from SPC. And I like using these paper shy bear and bunny stickers. They're kind of like us two, so the bear is luck. So I use that for them. And then I just had my, I finished a custom this week, did some savings, and um, I have gotten started on lemonade, but it's not done. So that's going to be coming this week. I was p trying to hopefully... <laughs> release it the week that we're looking at but it just didn't happen I didn't get the um I didn't get the custom sent off until Wednesday so it just took a little extra time so yeah but we'll get it done and released this week hopefully you've already, oh, I already would have seen some of it <laughs> although I am going out Tuesday uh morning so uh, coming up, not this week. <laughs> the week that you're watching this, if you watch it go up. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. So this is an old format again, so we'll just work with what we have, but I didn't actually do a lot this week. I got this set, this custom done, and that was my main focus. And then I got really into um, The Sims. <laughs> again, like getting it, continue playing with my um, not so berry challenge legacy so we've had a few updates this week which we'll get to <laughs> if you're at all interested in my sips thing but it is a really fun legacy so far and um it's kind of crazy like watching generations and things change in the game and just letting it happen in the background because i never used to play that way because i was always a sims one player but i was a sims one girly but now I like let them do what they wish and it's weird like in my game um, if you know the families of the Sibs and Sims 4 um, Eliza Pancakes who's married to Bob Pancakes she actually died as a young adult apparently from too laughing too much and I was just like so shocked and now he's like remarried with other kids and then um, Bella Goth, she had a kid with Mortimer, like she asked me if she should. I was like, yeah, well, you know, it's your husband. If you want a kid, go for it. And then the next time I look, she's married into some other family. <laughs> now she's, she's no longer Bella Goth. It's weird. It's weird how they all move around and do that stuff. And especially like my first generation, 
they're all like um, adults now and I my second generation of two siblings um, I should say my first generation have died of old, old age but my my second generation have now her younger siblings have now all gotten married and had kids and it's, it's strange I don't know why I did this because I got like only two things to put downstairs but whatever um so we have Coffee Monday as per usual and cute little bunny. This is my little reference to Easter. I didn't put this in my planner at all, but if you celebrated, happy Easter. Um, yeah, and also if you're celebrating Passover or Ramadan right now, I hope it is all going so well for you and you're having a good time. <laughs> um, you know, celebrating what is important to you. Then we have the plan with me. I just had three plan with me's this week. I had the pre plan with me, the normal plan with me, and then the monthly. <laughs> and then this coming week, you'll see that this video is sandwiched by wax videos, but it's just the way it worked out. Then I washed some clothes and did some cleaning. A lot of what I did this week was play Sims, watch YouTube, and clean. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's how everything turned out this week. I think I will use this, even if it doesn't have a pattern. But um, then on Monday was my, um, I got happy mail. This is my US forwarder, which is why you're getting some wax videos coming up. Um, I, the sticker haul will be a bit later because I only had literally three orders of stickers in this haul. It was like all wax and also some soap and some other things that Locke needed, so I don't know. Um, the haul will be a little bit later this month. I'm going to write film hauls because I filmed a few hauls from that. Um, then we had... So we got the light blue now. I did change up the color scheme, so I'm, <laughs> I'm a little confused, but that's okay. No payday on Tuesday because um, I just haven't been making any money, to be honest. So, but we're hopefully remedying that <laughs> this week. Let's just actually do a half box here because again, we don't have a lot going on on this day. That is the light blue color. Um, we did get bagels from Yeasty Boy. My favorite everything but the bagel bagels come from Yeasty Boy, but they don't sell them like just as bagels. You have to buy them like toasted and prepared, which is kind of annoying. I, want, I just want to buy a whole bunch of their beautiful bagels, but I did just get some supermarket bagels and some, and we actually got free cream cheese, a garlic and herb flavor. <laughs> in our last grocery order which was nice so we're like we can use this for the bagels we bought so that's nice um thinking about what i want to put in put that there and then we do remember we have some of these let's just use this uh, ombre box that was from the bottom washi which is on this pet this old mystery page of course, now it's all different, and that's okay. <laughs> I do prefer having more of my um, chubby little things, because I miss them. There's only two in this old format. But I am trying to use up my, my kits, to the point where I don't really have any kits for my pre-planner, which is why I'm only doing it like every second week or so, because I need kits. <laughs> I'm somehow limited at the moment. Um, so I did a bunch of custom work for Andre this day. A little bit crooked. Um, I think it was a mystery. That was all done. And then I started reading the new secret project from Brandon Sanderson, which is called, um, well, the, Gu the Frugal Wizard's Guide to Time Travel in Medieval England, I think. Something like that, but I'm gonna call it Frugal Wizard. Then I put these nail stickers on, which I've already taken one off. Apologies. <laughs> but it got frayed. And then um, binge watch YouTube. I've been watching Kelsey and Peachy Kay. 
and all of her Sims stuff, so I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and she's the one who got me onto the Not So Berry Challenge in Sims 4. I'm also now watching her um, Occult Baby Challenge as well, where she has a baby with every with every occult character in the Sims. So she has like a werewolf baby and a vampire baby and whatnot. Um, okay, here, I'm going to put this in. And we have a bit more to put on on Wednesday. Because it was the day before the Lux birthday. Let me have a look. I've got these as well. I could fit in. We don't have like that in the middle size that we do now. That's okay. We'll just space these out a bit better. So we had our usual Wednesday plan with me for the previous week. Memory plan with me, I guess. Put that in there. I always like to use Clever Girl Craft Hearts when I can. It's just, it's just the way it is. So yeah, oh my gosh, I just ripped this sticker. I don't know if I could stick that back down. Oh, oh whatever, it's fine. It looks fun. I just am tidying up. But again, we did, we were starting on the, um, we're starting on the spring cleaning. I'm itching to do it, but I'm waiting. <laughs> Um, for it to warm up a little bit more, especially because I need to do the balcony windows. Um, and I'm also um, going to use the November Mystery from SBC, the cleaning one. Um, so I want to make sure I make good use of that kit for that week and really get my cleaning done then. So I'm waiting, 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 waiting. But I've done, you know, the usual, but I have so much deep cleaning to do. Uh, we'll get to it eventually. So, I think this is a, this. So, and then I finished my work up. I think I had to just do some um, fashion people, finish it up this morning. And then I was reading my book. And then we had Vietnamese bun bowls for lunch. I'm going to use both of these up. I might just use up a little thing. Another one. And then we'll put this down here for watching TV. Then I put watch TV because we watched the usual Wednesday, Wednesday stuff which right now is um, Ted Lasso and the Big Door Prize. And then there was a new Wednesday show, um, Schmigadoon, on, it's called Schmicago this season, um, but they're all three of those shows are uh, Apple. <laughs> and they're all on a Wednesday, but they're all so good. Honestly, Apple TV is like my favorite streaming at the moment for original TV. The shows are so good. So right on my book had those um, noodles from, it's called Nom, okay? <laughs> I don't know if that stands for anything, but it's caps N O M nom, <laughs> um, which is okay. Like you might be like, okay, yeah, because they're nommy, but nom in Finnish is spelled N A M. It's spelled with an A, so it's nom nom nom, <laughs> not nom nom like we say. So I don't know. It's nom noodles that we had. Um, then I sent the files to Andrea, and then we watched all of our shows. Um, billions of Apple TV shows. I think it just felt like a lot because um, it was two episodes of Schmigadoon, I think, went up. And if you haven't heard of Schmigadoon, it is a musical show. And it's Michael Keegan Key. Michael Keegan? Yeah, Michael Keegan Key and Cecily Strong. And they end up in like a musical world because they're having issues with their relationship and like the musical they have to work through their relationship through the musical but um it's kind of funny because michael michael's character is like i don't believe any of this stuff oh my god musicals are the worst so it's funny when it's like one of the characters is not into it and then thursday it was Locke's birthday they turned 30 uh, 35 35. So yes, 
officially old now. Still pretty young in, in terms of life, you know. But you never do. Um, yes, if you want to know about our ages, um, I turned 35 in October, so he's they luck is um, six months older than me. And my birthday is on the 16th, and their birthday is on the 6th, and we'll, I think we we're both born at like 6 p.m. on these days. There's a lot of sixes to do with our birthdays, um, and we're six months apart, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to put Luck as 35, and then we had a grocery delivery, and then I baked a cake. So because it's just the two of us, we actually got a six-inch um, cake pan, like a round six-inch pan. And we started like um, baking small cakes. So it's like f either four servings or eight small servings. On this day, we had um, <laughs> half the cake each. And then the next the couple of days that we ate the cake, we cut it into fours instead. Probably better to have eight serves. But because I did two layers, uh, and it's a chocolate cake. Um, it was just a, like a small cake chocolate cake recipe. But it used hot espresso, which was really good. Hot espresso as well as vegetable oil. And I feel like the vegetable oil is like key to making it um, like moist. But it tastes exactly like a store-bought cake and I was very proud of myself because it's like, like the texture was store-bought, which is so hard to do, I think. <laughs> Because often cake, homemade cake, just turns out kind of dry, but this was perfect. And then I just made a vanilla buttercream frosting for it, so it wasn't too chocolatey. Plus, Luck loves um, vanilla icing. So that's what I did, and it was super fun to bake it. it took ages though, because I only have one tin, and the recipe was for two tins, so I just cooked one after the other. <laughs> And then um, between the baking, I just put the tin outside to make it cool down because it was, you know, it was cold outside. So that worked out well. But yeah, so I baked them a little chocolate cake and we ate so much cake, but it was really delicious. Then um, I put clean in the kitchen because obviously it made a lot of mess. Had to clean it all up. And then, oh, we got, so the, the, Basically, the thing was, like, okay, if we order steak delivery from Morrison's, then we should bake the cake. Or we could order a cake and get it delivered, but then we'd have to make the steak. But we And we made a really good steak for Christmas last year, but I think a really good steak is kind of like Christmas levels of... Um, of dedication because we like fried it up and then we put it into the air fryer and finished it off blah 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 so I just thought it'd be easy just to bake the cake and then get the <laughs> steak delivered so that's what we did and then I played soups but steak wise we always get the house steak which is just a small steak um, with nothing too big like it's like a steak like maybe that big <laughs> over the page um, and then it comes with grilled vegetables and we always choose to get them with fries but they're like big bigger chunky of fries and then we get it and then it comes with bearnaise sauce which is my favorite so that's what I do and then we always see we always get um, onion rings on the side because um, onion rings are life <laughs> but yeah that's our usual Morrison's uh, do so yeah Thursday it was the other week or the week prior um, that uh, I finished up generation one of the berry challenge so because it's like a 10 generation challenge so I was playing second generation here um, and that's what I was playing on Thursday um, my little scarlet berry she's so sweet she she had a lot of serial romance and was a politician I had one child it wasn't great to the child, but you know. <laughs> um, Friday, my monthly plan with me went up. Oh yeah, this is actually where I put it in. Um, and then I was playing some sibs. 
And this is when Generation One, um, Jade, Barry, and her husband both passed away. It was so sad, and I didn't even get to see it. Like, I just got phone calls that they passed away one after the other, bit a few couple of weeks uh, apart, or a few days apart. It was so sad. Oh, and of course, my Sims were devastated. <sighs> but. You know, and then um, I made sure to be um, to be organized, and I went right over to the house and picked up the little gravestones, and I put in a community lot that is will be my um, not so buried challenge legacy um, cemetery, and I've already put their plots in, so they always have their family members uh, in the cemetery. I know one. Um, well, I haven't been able to find a few of the like spouses and exes, but I guess that doesn't really matter. I do have both Jade and her husband though, of first gen. And I put fold laundry, but I also washed laundry. It's just easy because I kind of did both. Um, and then I have these, my chubby little things, which I should be using. I've only got two of them, so use that one. <laughs> Um, so then we did some tidying up. Oh, uh, they finally added King of the Hill, King of the Hill to our Disney Plus because our Disney Plus has a section called Star, which is like the version of Hulu. Because there is no Hulu in um, it, else out of America, so we get it on Disney Plus instead. But it is nice to have it all in one spot, you know. Just all of uh, Disney and Hulu on there. Well, not all of it. Some of it takes forever. Like, they put up 10 episodes of the current season of Abbott Elementary, and that's been it. So I assume they're just going to wait till the show is finished and then give us the other half. But it's so annoying. <laughs> I just want to keep up with Abbott Elementary, but gosh. So I have to, like, avoid spoilers at all costs. Um... Yeah, I did some tidying up. But yeah, they Disney Disney Plus finally got King of the Hill. Ooh. Um, so we were watching that. I do love me some King of the Hill. And then we were recycling our boxes. We had a ton of boxes. We need to tear them all up so we can fit them down our recycling chute. So Locke was tearing them all down this day, and I watched some YouTube, just some more Kelsey, I think. Maybe some Delagrassi, but, you know, not much else. And then Saturday, I put cleaning time because he cleaned a bunch of stuff. Like, um, yeah, we cleaned up a bunch. Um, let me see what I want to use here, but I might as well just use this. Oh, maybe I can put the rounded one in the middle because we've got these. I prefer the skinny now, but it fits pretty well in there for this set. Um, yeah, so we like vacuumed and did all sorts of stuff. Did a whole lot of laundry. A whole big lot of clean again. <laughs> And then after cleaning, it was lazy time. Lazy time. I don't know. I had nothing else to do. I was just relaxing this weekend because, you know, it is a holiday weekend and luck had Good Friday off through Easter Monday tomorrow. So we have plenty of time off, which is nice. All right. So finally, we're going to do... Um, Saturday, Sims time, and then maybe we'll use the non-pattern of this for YouTube time. <laughs> so again, watching more Kelsey in PGK is kind of all I'm watching at the moment, but she has like so many videos and playlists up. So Saturday, um, Generation 2 died. This was Scarlet Berry. 
she passed away. I did finish her up. Um, it seems really soon, but um, she... I was playing her for a little, bit, a little while because she one of her like challenge things is she doesn't get married until she's an elder and then of course they don't last very long when they're an elder um oh but the big thing is so her kid was moved out who is the yellow gen who is a boy so it's apollo berry um because it's yellow i don't know <laughs> um and um anyway it was his birthday and he was turning into an adult so, um, and as, he blew out the candles, and as he was finding space to age up, is when Scarlet Berry, in front of like 30 sibs, everyone eating, like wanting to eat cake, just blew out the candles and everything, just killed over and died, and he was like stuck in the animation of trying to find a space to age up because it was raining. And then the Grim Reaper came, and he couldn't like plead for her because he was still <laughs> trying to age up. And um, his wife, Annabelle, tried to plead for Scarlet's life, but Annabelle kind of sucks. <laughs> so, um, it did not happen. And Scarlet passed away in front of everybody at the birthday party, except for Apollo. He didn't technically witness it. So I put a tombstone straight into his inventory to take to the cemetery, but he wasn't sad at all, which is kind of funny. Be it was just sort of funny because everyone else was devastated and crying and he, because he was trying to age up, he didn't witness the death and he wasn't sad, but I let him mourn at the cemetery for a bit, but I mean, it works into the, like, the legacy story is that they were never really close, um, and she was like a, she loved him, but she just wasn't available. She was always working a politician. Like, she became president, and she had all her romances. So it wasn't really, you know, being a parent wasn't really a thing. It was like a a young adult mistake. <laughs> Probably on her second day, young adult is when I made her pregnant. But, yeah, that was the whole thing. I was like, oh, my God, what's happening? Like, the drama of, like, 30 sims freaking out while he's trying to age up. And, oh, my gosh. It was a whole thing. <laughs> That's what's so fun about The Sims. So, anyway. So, poor Apollo Berry. The second generation was gone and it was all up to them. And Apollo wanted to be an astronaut. Um, and have a rocket ship. But because of that, um, he wasn't really around for... The next gen, um, the gray gen, which uh, was also a boy in the end, and um, that was, let me see what I can fit in here, because I want to kind of fit more into the Sims thing here. Um, yeah, so, what can I fit, oh yes, I can use my last chubby little thing here. Yes, so he was up being an astronaut, and then um, Annabelle, whom he married, um, ended up being um, into the tech guru, so they were both just off doing their science-y stuff. And Gray, whose name is Slate, um, another boy, he wants to become, become an athlete, he's always into playing basketball outside, and he is what, we call him wide boy, because when he aged up to a teen, he is wide and muscly. It's hilarious, but, um, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, but he also wants to have a really big family and spend time with all his family and be good friends with all his kids, so kind of the opposite, where, um, Yellow Jenna kind of, like, Apollo's kind of too busy, um, with his work becoming an astronaut, and his mom is too busy being a startup entrepreneur, so... It works out. It was, it's been working for the legacy story. <laughs> um, but I'm just putting here on Sunday that I dyed my hair black again because I'm planning the next week to take passport photos. So I wanted my hair to be fresh for my passport photo. Um, I have a bunch of stuff for that photo to, to be used with. Passport photos for two passports as well as a, an ID here. They have like a police ID. This is just standard use card. 
But yeah, so. And then we watched The Simpsons, A King of the Hill, and I've been having some tummy issues probably this whole week, but I don't know, I was just feeling it right before I was filming this. I was like, my tum tum. <laughs> Um, and then I was going to write my sims is that I was finished with Apollo. He um, got all of the, so he needed full handiness, full rocket science, travel to six and planet, blah, blah, blah. And I finally got his last one, which was the top of the astronaut career. So yellow is finished. And now I'm just focusing on Slate, my gray gen, my athletic wide boy. And um, he's a teen right now, so we're playing high school years with him. It's fun. He just went to prom. <laughs> but I just want to put that in there and just like I'm following my little legacy challenge, which has really been really fun. Um, and then just filming this plan, and then I'm probably going to watch some videos and chill tomorrow. Luck is off, and they're actually on holidays until the 17th. But um, this coming week, I'm going to be getting a lemonade finished, my art set for summer. Want to get that done and like put up by Friday, Saturday, and then I'm gonna get straight into my next shop set, which is called Hip Hip Hooray. Just a little hint there, and then I think I have one more custom, and then we're gonna do some more shops. So, want to get down and dirty and get into our art business again. I don't know what it is. I just had. I think for the month of March, I just had really bad burnout and. Um, I just had to overcome it, you know. All you can do about burnout, really, is just to relax and chill. Um, there's no point, like, um, pushing yourself through it when what burnout needs is relaxation and chill. But I think we're getting there. We're going to get it all ramped up this week. I'm excited. This is sort of my last chill week, although I got some customs done, which is great. I'm just going to put some deco bits in, but I hope you've enjoyed this plan with me. But yes, I won't be have. I didn't have a pre-plan with me this week because I don't have any. I don't have many kits to use. Um, let's just do the balloon on the gems done. The, the, Generation 3 done and baked cake. I don't know if I want to put the balloons on like Generation 1 and 2 dying. It's so sad. So very sad. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever played that way. I, I usually play very controlled. One family. <laughs> like even one family. Uh, one sim only. And I just like do a bunch of skill building and stuff. Um, and like make them the perfect sim, but that's not what this challenge is about. This challenge is playing all parts of the game, including having lots of kids and all the different, I don't know, just all sorts of things. It's been really fun to actually pay attention. I've been enjoying it, but, um, it's kind of all that's on my mind at the moment, the sims. <laughs> Um, it really does make me want to like get back to my idea of doing a Game of Girls set. I put it on the back burner because um, it was a painterly gal. She released a really cute one. I think I just ordered it from Caress Press. Um, although I know like Planner Face and stuff used it as well if you're looking for a Game of Girls set. Hers is a really cute like purpley bluey one. No, but I kind of had planned for like a pink almost Sailor Moony, um, Game of Girl aesthetic. You know, those, those aesthetic videos. That's what I was complaining for. I kind of almost want to make it just cause it's like, you know, you could have many gaming. <laughs> Do I have room to put in Andrea's Decker? I haven't used much of this sheet from her bundle, but I was kind of give it, keep it on the down low. How about we dress up? A few more of these with these fun shapes here um, because these are really cute shapes. So, and why not have a super foily birthday spread? Uh, and then, of course, we have another one for Andrea later this month, 
to be exciting. But yeah, let me know. If do you want more Gamer Girl kits? Would you is that something you'd have multiple of? Because I know like we have like reading girl. I do plan to do my own reading library set for autumn. Like an autumn version. I don't know. We'll see. Um Okay, I think I'm officially out of space for any more deco. But that is the finished spread. It's very shiny and happy and gold and ice creamy. I was very happy with this set. I thought it was a really cool idea to do like the f the flat lay of like the ice cream display. It looks so delicious. Makes me want ice cream. But yeah. Um, otherwise, without a pre-plan with me, just any more other than doing my art set Tuesday and my passport photos. I also plan, we bought tickets to watch the uh, Dungeons and Dragons movie, so that should be fun. I haven't been to the movies in so long. I think the last movie at the cinema I saw was June, and I'm probably going to see June 2 this year too, so that's exciting. It's out in November. I love me some June, but yeah, otherwise... That's it. Uh, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, but otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.